Hey guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my September favorites. I have actually just like a little grouping of products to share with you. Nothing too insane, but that doesn't mean I won't ramble. Before I get started, I just wanted to apologize for how long I've been away. I just wanted to explain why I've been gone for so long, and if you want to just like skip to the part where I actually start with the makeup products, I'll have the time right here where you can go to. I actually just got a job! <laughs> I'm working at Victoria's Secret Pink, and I'm really excited about this. I'm very happy that I finally have a job. I've been trying to get a job for quite a while now. It just hasn't worked out until now. That's probably my first favorite of the month. Basically, I went in, I applied, I got an interview time, I had the interview, and then like a couple days later, I got the call that I got the job, and I was really excited about that. And then I had two training sessions, and after the first training session, I got very, very sick which was not appreciated. I pretty much was down for the count for at least a week and then I had my second training session and I was still kind of like croaky and gross. Like I pretty much sounded like a mixture of a frog and an old man, you know? So that wasn't very pleasant. But now I'm feeling a lot better. I still have a little bit of like a throat issue. I just feel like I'm a little bit clogged, you know? So if you hear me like sounding a little bit different, that's probably what it is. But now that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you guys before I got started. Let's just get on into the favorites. The first thing I have to share with you is a blush, and this is by MAC, and for some reason I always bring this out in the fall time. I think it's because the color is a matte color, so it also kind of brings in the fall and also is more of a kind of like peachy kind of color. I don't know, I'm wearing this actually today. It is Melba, and I love this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just think it's a very unique color, and it just looks great. It just kind of warms up your skin tone a little bit. You really don't need that much product at all. It blends really nicely, and it stays on a really long time my cheeks as well, which is great. Next, I have an eyeshadow I want to share with you. This is by Elizabeth Mott, and this is the Pop Goes Shadow in the shade Champagne, and I've just been loving this all over my lid. I actually have it on the inner corners of my lid today. This actually did break on me, but I did the whole alcohol, like, press it back in technique, and it worked great. It's just like a really nice champagne with a bit of, like, a gold undertone to it, I guess you would say. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it just gives you a beautiful shine, and it just makes you look so much more awake as well. Next, I have a nail polish favorite I want to share with you, and this is by the Sephora Formula X collection. It's just like a little sample size. This is their Sheer Strength Nail polish. It's just like a very sheer pinky color. It just adds a nice natural tone to your nails. It also adds a beautiful shine, but it really does help strengthen your nails. I don't have it on right now, sadly, because my nails have gone through a period where they just have been really gross and I just felt like they needed a break from nail polish. But just putting this on just to have like a natural looking nail, but you still want it to look like clean and polished and you know what I mean? Like not ratchet like my nails look. It's a really great option. It does stand your nails for super long amount of time. I think at least a week plus. Next I have a lip product favorite. This is one of the NARS satin lip pencils. This is in the shade Rakujin. This actually came in my Sephora birthday gift and it will come in yours if you haven't gotten it yet. But this is a beautiful mauve color. It has a little bit of a shine to it. Not too much though where you look like you're frosty, you know? And it's absolutely gorgeous for an everyday look. It's a little bit deeper than like a regular nude or a pink, but it's not quite like a plum or a berry, you know what I mean? So it's again a great lip color for work. I love the formula. It stays on my lips for a pretty long amount of time considering it's not a stain or anything. Next I have a face like coverage product. This one is the e.l.f. Broad Spectrum SPF 20 BB Cream. Oh, I love this stuff so much. I'm actually wearing this on my skin today. It is the perfect light to medium coverage. I also love how there's a pump on it. It makes it really easy to disperse the product. It just gives you a really nice kind of dewy finish. I usually have to blend it out with a beauty blender and I'm good to go. I have mine the shade Fair, but I love this so much. It's only $6, so you really cannot go wrong. Next, I have a hair care favorite. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin Treatment. And I have been absolutely loving this this month, mainly because a lot of my conditioners have been running out, so I've just been using like the shampoo by itself. So my hair is pretty tangly when I get out of the shower because I do have very frizzy, very curly, very wavy hair. <laughs> so I love using this when I get out of the shower. I just put a couple spritzes in it and I just let it kind of sit there and kind of work it in a little bit. And then after like maybe a minute or two, I take my tangle teaser and I brush it out. And it just makes it so much easier to get those tangles out. It doesn't hurt near as much. I will say you can go a little overboard with this if you're not careful because you really don't need very much at all. But it also smells so good. If you have curly, 
tangly, any kind of hair like that, you will love this. My mom uses it as well and she loves it too, so yeah. Next I have a brow combo to share with you and the first part of it is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and the other part is this Jane Iredell eyeshadow in the shade Slate Brown, which you guys know I've been using on my brows pretty much since I ever started filling them in. What I usually do is just fill in my brows with the powder and then I just set them in place with this NYX Brow Mascara because this adds a little bit of color. It also adds a couple fibers to make your brows look a little bit more voluminized, if that's even a thing when it comes to brows. It also keeps my brows in place all day long, which is amazing. Next, I have this favorite, which I've mentioned before, it is my NARS Contouring Blush Duo in the shade Olympia. It's also the lightest one they make, probably not surprised. Basically, it just has a highlight and a contour shade. The highlight is a matte one. So I've been loving this for highlighting under my eyes like I did today. It does have a bit of a banana-y tone to it, so it is a little bit of a yellow color, but the contour shade is one of my absolute favorites. I am wearing it today. It's like a nice, warm, I guess you could say it's like almost like a rosy tone contour. Some people might be like, uh, rosy tone contour? Are you kidding me? Like, are you stupid? No, no, no. This is amazing. I just use like a little duo fiber brush with it and I just usually just kind of contour a little bit, kind of bring it up to my temples a little, you know, blend it into my hairline and just makes such a difference in the definition of my face. My last makeup favorite is the concealer by NYX. It is their dark circle concealer and I have mine in the shade light and I have had this for like over a year but I kind of just forgot about it honestly. You know you have too much makeup when. I saw Nicole Guerrero use this in a video. It's just like an orange toned kind of concealer. I usually just put it underneath my concealer or my foundation or BB cream um, just so I don't like look completely orange but I can still cancel out those dark circles. I usually just take it on either on my ring finger or on like a little brush and I pat it like right on the inner area. I kind of only go about halfway under my eye because I don't want to bring it all the way around or else I'm going to look like I'm orange because usually you don't only have darkness in like this area but I love this. It's super inexpensive. It's like six dollars or something so definitely go check it out if you haven't already. My last favorites are all skincare and they're from the brand Simple. I have all little mini sizes because I did get this like in a travel kind of pack. The first one is their Sensitive Skin Experts Moisturizing Facial Wash. And I love this. It's just so great. It's really nice for sensitive skin because it does not break you out. It doesn't have very much of a smell either, which is good if you do have sensitive skin because sometimes that can be a little intense. But I just love using this at nighttime. I usually just use my pore cleansing pad from Sephora and I just swish that all over my face. I just feel really clean, but I don't feel like I've stripped my skin of everything, you know? And then after that, I usually use the toner. This is their Sensitive Skin Experts Soothing Facial Toner, and it's so good. I usually just take it on a cotton pad, just wipe it all over my skin, and I usually let it kind of like sink in for like a minute or so. I really feel like my skin is being revived and restored, I guess, when I use this because there's a bit of a like a stingy kind of feeling because whenever you use a toner, it's balanced in the pH, so obviously you're gonna feel that, but I love that feeling. And the last part of it is the Sensitive Skin Experts Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. And again, this is amazing. I usually use this in the daytime. It's just kind of a nice like middle of the road, like not super thick, but not super thin kind of moisturizer. It really feels like it's soaking into your skin and it really does help moisturize, which is gonna be great, especially because the drier months are upon us. And if you've never tried Simple, I would definitely recommend them. They're not super expensive at the drugstore and you can also find this little package at Shoppers Drug Mart if you're in Canada. Okay, my last favorite of the month is a random favorite. This is a phone case my friend Jasmine got me when she was in California this summer and she went to Disneyland but she gave this to me last month when she had like a little goodbye going away party because she is now at university and I miss her a lot. <laughs> it is the Disneyland like 60th anniversary style of phone case and it has like a bunch of really cute like drawings all over it of all the different like rides and like I'm just gonna say monuments but that is not right I guess structures <laughs> in Disneyland but I love it and all the little characters and I don't know I just I really I really 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 love this. I'm so excited because I will be eventually going to the Disneyland 60th. My mom has told me that we are going because if you didn't know, my family are a bit of Disney nuts, at least my mom and I are. So now I'm prepared to go to the 60th and it just makes me even more excited whenever I look at it. I'm like, ah! 
Thank you so much, Jasmine, for thinking of me while you were in Disney. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you like watching favorites videos. I know I do. Again, I'm very sorry that I've been away for such a long time, but hopefully I will be coming back more often now since I've kind of got everything settled. I love you so much, and thank you so much for the love and support. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day or night, and I'll see you next time. Bye! You know that I want to stay, but you tell me to go. What do you mean? Oh, 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 oh. What do you mean? Said you're running out of time. What do you mean? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel.